guys, it's Jessica over at ExpressionsVinyl.com and today I want to talk to you guys about sizing and placement of heat transfer vinyl on t-shirts. That's a question we get quite a bit and people are like, how do I even know what size to put? So I'm going to give you some guidelines and show you how to place it and where to place it on the shirt. So let's get started with this toddler one. Um, a nice size for a toddler t-shirt. This one's a 3T. Um, I do about a 5x5. Five five. You can totally adjust that as you need, but that's a good starting point. So I'm gonna show you how I find where to place it. So what I like to do, there's lots of fancy rulers and fancy tools you can use. Um, I don't think you necessarily need those. I just take my shirt and fold it in half and either press it with my iron or my heat press for just a few seconds. And then I take it this way and right on the seam there, fold it across a nice even line and then press it that way as well for just a couple seconds. And then this gives you a nice line right down the middle of your shirt and right across the chest that you can use as guides when you're lining up your vinyl. So I'm also gonna take my little vinyl piece and fold it in half, and I'm folding it in half with the carrier sheet, the front of the carrier sheet, not the sticky side of the carrier sheet. So give that a little couple folds in half, and this won't ruin your heat transfer vinyl. And then I'm gonna also fold it the other way. So I have lines, and then it makes me a center point. Okay, so I'm gonna place this on my shirt and line up right down the middle. You can line those up on the top and the bottom and cover it with our multi-use paper. and press that down for 10 to 15 seconds. So while we're waiting for this, um, something else I like to do is actually print out my design and on a piece of paper, and then you can place it on your shirt and kind of measure how big it's gonna be before you cut it out with your heat transfer vinyl. All right, so we've got that on there. We can peel off our carrier sheet and we've got it all ironed onto our shirt. Hopefully you have a cuter design than this. So now let's talk about onesies. I do the same thing, fold it in half to find the middle. And onesies I do about a three by three. You can definitely make that, adjust it to how you want. If your design is a little bit longer, um, it doesn't have to be a square, but three by three gives you kind of an idea of where to start. Um, and then we're gonna go into our a little bit bigger youth sizes. Um, this one I did a seven by seven. This is a medium in youth. And do take off your sticker before you heat press. I just wanted to keep that on there so you guys could see what size it was. And then we're going to go into our adult. Now a standard adult, this one is a medium. I do about 11 by 11. Now that's pretty big design, so you can adjust it as you need to. And then we're going to go into our fitted adult, our lady shirts. Um, I do make those a little bit smaller. I start at about a 9 by 9. And then for your pocket, if you wanna do a little pocket design, I do a four by four. And I, this is um, where they're folding in half and then folding across the chest is handy. Cause now we have this nice square on over the heart that we can see where to place that on. And you can line it up with that. And then our sleeve design. So I do about a two by 11 if it's going down the sleeve. And to find that, I do the same thing. I find the middle of my sleeve, fold it in half and iron it, and then bring my sleeve up, press this half, and then I've got the half of my design so I can get it centered on the sleeve. So if you are doing um, bigger shirts, you definitely wanna do a bigger design. So like with the standard adult where this is a medium, if you were doing like a 2X, I would up it an inch or two, just depending on the size of your shirt and your design. So hopefully those all give you some good guidelines of where to start and how to place them. If you guys have any questions, leave us a comment below. If this helped you out, give us a thumbs up. And thanks for watching, guys.